Yes, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll see so, you guys around. I know. Right. I know. Good to talk to you. So, if God, Allah, in your guys' eyes, mm -hmm. He's the one Creator, created everything, right? Yeah. The heavens, the earth, us, everything. Yes. Yeah. Why did He create other religions? Just to confuse us all. He didn't. What? He didn't. No, he no. revealed. So God didn't. One second, God one didn't one create everything. There is a I will just a minute. No. Because God. if I was God and God. I'm going to make creation, okay, and I'm on, I'm going to be, I'm going to create animals, people, okay, and then just to fuck with them, they're all going to talk different languages, yes, so no one can so understand so each so other. Well, I understand. And no, no, I'm going to create all these other gods, so that they're more confused. Okay. Why would I do that? Let me tell you something. When God has created us, he he created us with the free will to choose, either to choose the good or the bad. Yeah, right. give us that. Because otherwise, the angels was created, and they have only one choice to worship this one God. So, but God that's wants. That's ideal. I understand. That's ideal. But God wants something better than that. God wants us to choose that, to choose Him, not rather than to choose something else. If there is no other choices. Be jealous. one second. No, not about jealousy. If there are no other choices available, that means where is the choice? Where is the free will? Now, if I will tell you, you will go in this direction, you have to walk forward, you cannot walk, and something is pushing you, you have to, of course, the time is pushing you forward, uh, walking forward, and you have only that path, there is no path left or right, or just only one path, and you go there, where is your free will? What is the choice? Well, there isn't. There isn't. So that's why God wants us to choose to worship Him. In order to want us, in order to achieve this, every, all the other options has to be there. And that's why the existence... No, because he the, would just say either believe in me or don't believe in me. In, uh, he wouldn't say go and believe how, in How? One second, one second. How not to believe in him? we got to be following something. Atheism, they worship something, by the way. They have something to worship. They worship yeah, uh, yeah, but I mean, they, they have something. There is an ideology, regardless. So that's why, so that's why when God, even in the past, people create idols, they start worshipping these idols. They will do something. So, so, so the point is that giving us the choices to choose, this is part of the will of God. So that's why we believe God has two types of will. Because I, One second. Want, because I want you to choose me, I'm going to make Hinduism, Judaism, Tao. Allow it. Oh, all of this. Yes, yes, basically. All of that. that, makes, that it, 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 it totally makes sense. Do you know why? Because again, you know, here, when, when God allows people to do what they wanted to do, to achieve what they wanted to achieve, to choose to worship Him and to choose to worship something else, they will make up faith, they will make up things, they will come and even maybe in the future they're going to have, not just only Catholic, we may, they, we may find another, a new one. So people, so the people, they keep bringing things. So God didn't stop this because God wants us again, reminding us, that's why He has sent the prophets and the messengers one after another and send them with a message reminding the people worship me alone do not associate with me and the partners don't go astray reminding us again and again so that's why it's like a test if i am if i'm a teacher which i am a teacher if i am a teacher which i am a teacher yeah and i will examine my student and say to them all of you you gotta have that question and then that's it and that's the answer you just pass, and all of you gotta pass which means what is the point of me attending the exam so that's why, going back to the point, if there is no fail, there is no win. So that's why it's part of that. If there is no darkness, they will, we don't, don't appreciate the light. If there is no misguidance, we cannot appreciate the guidance. So that's how it is. So God has made it clear for us with this. And that's why, again, our, when God gives us... Yeah, thank you. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, no, I understand your What's your faith, What's your faith by the way? Um, okay. I'm not sure I have one yet. So, do you believe in one God? I think we were created. I don't think it's just accident. Exactly. Monkeys and all that. But so, I don't know, you know, yes. haram, halal. You know, don't, like, don't worry about this thing. Tattoos, Listen, it doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter if you go tattoo or something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah? There are many brothers and sisters who embrace Islam, who lived like totally bad life in the, in the previous life. Because Islam, the key thing, the key thing in Islam, Islam cleanses everything before. It's everything before is wiped out. As if when you become Muslim, all your previous sins are, for, are forgiven. You start fresh, you start like a newborn baby with no sins. This is the good thing in Islam, which means in Islam, you start high. So as soon as the person embraces Islam, he will be the best Muslim walking on earth. Do you know why? For a few things. Firstly, that he will be all his sins is wiped. Yeah? And all of the Muslims 
on earth they are sinners, we have sins, we have things like that. And as well, Allah as well, part of the promise that Allah stated to us in the Quran, those who Allah who replaces their sins into righteous deeds, which means the, the sins, because you lift all of that for God, God will replace them for you as if you have done righteous deeds. And that's a good thing, this is from the justice of God. All of this, if the person accepts Islam. So now the question, what's your name by the way? Aslan. Aslan. You, you're from Turkey. Turkey. So Aslan, you said you believe in one God, yes? There should be something. I, I believe in creator. We're creator, God. this creator. I don't think we were just accidentally. Okay, good. So this creator, yeah. this creator has certain attributes, yes? Uh, yeah, creation. because they're being. Yeah, creation. One of, yeah, creation. One of the attributes is all powerful. Yeah. Oh, you're snookering me into I can see where you're going. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, going there, I'm going there. I'll Are you okay? No, 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 just, just answer my question. Yeah, yeah he's all powerful. Yeah. Is this creator all, all knowing? Anyway, it has to be. Yeah. Okay. This creator has independent will means no one is influencing the creator. What to do, what not to do. He does what he what he wishes basically. No. Yeah? Theoretically, yes. Because yes. you would have to be. That is God. Yeah. That is God. So now if you accept this, that means you believe in God. That's right. According to the because that's the difference of God. Yeah. All powerful, all knowing, has independent will. He is the one the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything. That is God. So you, we are now on one page. So it's, already been, it's already phrased like this because that's the definition of God. Yeah. That I struggle with. That's the definition of God. I mean, you struggle with the definition. That's the definition. That's the definition of God. I'm going to take one of your books if I may. Okay. So you, so you accept there is one God, yeah? I, I think there is a creator. I don't think we came from the Big Bang and then apes. Good. And I don't, I don't now, the, the, the next question, why this creator has created us? Why did he create us? Don't you think the minimum... Order? I don't know really. No, why? The minimum is to be grateful to him. That's all. So for example, your parents, when they give birth to you, for example, at least they want, you know, a son. My mom, not my your, dad didn't give birth to me. I don't, your mom, I mean, yeah. your mom, I yeah. mean. Yeah, yeah, your mom gave birth to you. Your yeah. father, of course, yeah, you know, no, was. He was involved. So both, <laughs> was involved. Your parents, basically, they want, they want a son at least to be grateful to them. They feed you, they look after you. But she's a devout Catholic, she's Irish. Yeah, I, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. My point is, yeah, my point is, when she gave birth to you, at least she's expecting from you just to be grateful to her, that's all. She doesn't want your money. She's already, you know, you know, independent. Whatever she can manage herself. But the only thing, when when she wants, I say, when she grew, when you grow up, at least if she needs something, you will be there. You'll be good to her. Yeah, that's that's the minimum. So that when God has created us, and God is sufficient, God doesn't need us. We need God. But God has created us for a purpose, just to be grateful to Him. And to be grateful to God is to submit our will to His will. That's it. Meaning, to do what He is commanding us to do, and to abstain from what He told us to abstain from. And the key thing is to believe in His oneness. He is the only one worthy to be worshipped, with no partners, with no associates. That's the key thing. That's what God wants from us. And that's what's the teaching of Islam. Does that make sense? And that's why God has sent the prophets. Yes, obedience. Devoted. And actually, in, in our devotion to Islam, actually, Islam, the worship in Islam is very broad meaning. It's not just only to go to mosque. Everything that we do is an act of worship. When you are good to your parents, you're worshiping God. Yeah. When you are when you are when you are being good to your parents, you are worshiping God. When you be good to your neighbor, you're worshiping God. When you are good to the nature, you're worshiping God. Every when you when you go and earn and work in a job in a job that at least to earn a, a, a lawful income, you didn't steal, you didn't, uh, for example, gamble, etc. In order for you to look after you and your family, you are worshipping God. So the meaning of the worship in Islam is very broad meaning. And that's how it is. It's not just only, yes, we pray five times a day. We fast the months of Ramadan. These are a direct act of worship. But we do every single thing that we do, it is an act of worship to us in Islam. And that's the beauty of it. Us being nice to you, greeting you in a good way, that's an act of worship in Islam. Yeah. yeah? Does that make sense to you? Now, I just want from you only one thing. Today, when you go home, yeah, since we have agreed on certain things, we have agreed about the existence of the creator. 
You know, you know the first chapter in the in the Quran here. The cow. No, no, no. That's the second chapter. The first chapter. The opening. The opener here. Oh, is that is that a chapter? I thought it was like the opening. The opening, yeah. Yeah. See here. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful, the sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed your favor, not the path, not of those who have earned your anger or those who were astray. What is this about? It's about guidance, yes? Yeah. Don't, don't go astray, stick on the path. Yes. So, you say, God, I know you're there. What do I do? You say, God, I know you're there. You are the creator of the heavens and the Guide me. Guide me to the path. And the guidance in Islam, the guidance in Islam in the three ways. Showing you the path, leading you to this path, and keeping you steadfast upon this path. So, for example, if you ask, where is Marble Arch? I will say to you there, that's showing you the path. But I will say, come with me, I will, I will lead you to the path. Yeah, I will take you there. Yeah, and if you try to go left and right, I will keep you, come back, it's here. So that's the guidance. Showing you the path, leading you to the path, keeping you steadfast upon that path. That's why we recite this chapter at least 17 times a day. At least 17 times a day. Why? Because we need God to keep guiding us to the straight path. Does that make sense? That's what I want from you. Let's do this today. Yeah? Take a shower. Do that. I'm not going to just take a shower. I've been in a mosque. I've been, obviously, my grandfather, you know, when I was from Turkey. Yeah, I see. You know, he, when I was born, he did the whisper, the blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, when he died, he said, you're born a Muslim, you're born a Muslim. You might get lost in the middle, but, you know. Then why don't you come back? Oh, don't. Now I'll be thinking about him all day now. And he's, uh, we don't believe in coincidence. You are coming here today for a reason. Yeah. They come here for a reason. And that's part of showing you the path. What is the name of Allah? But the other guy said it's because he gave me the the Luke, the gospel of Luke, and he said the reason is because of Jesus. Why not gospel of whatever? You know? So you see here So you see here when someone is saying to you there is three and there is oh no someone if God is all powerful, God is able we said they are all powerful, you agree with this. God could grant us forgiveness. Why does he need to go kill himself on the cross to forgive us? So simple straightforward. You know what? Just submit to me, seek forgiveness, and I will grant you forgiveness. Do you understand? Like, if you wronged me yourself, first of all, if you wronged me, why I need to blame your son for, for your wrong? If Adam made the mistake, why we are blameworthy for this? That's one thing. Why we are inheriting the sin of Adam. Suppose, suppose, all of this, suppose this, yeah. If I wanted to forgive you, why I need to come to show you, to kill myself in order to show you that I forgive you? I will just, you come to me or ask for my forgiveness. This is our nature as a human being. You say, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I will say to you, no problem, I forgive you. This is us as a perfect human being. We do like that, yes? Because there is no perfectness, but we try to, uh, to strive to be perfect. So if we're wrong, we say, I'm sorry. And if I'm generous, I will say, I forgive you, that's fine. And then you will be, pray, you will be grateful that, you know, Thank you know I should be grateful to this individual because he, he you know he, he just forgive me he pardoned me but God is all powerful God you just turn to him ask him oh God forgive me I've sinned I committed this and this and this forgive me and I will forgive you you do, you, you do need a middle person you do need a priest you don't need to come to the Imam to tell him about your mission. it's a special relation between you and your Creator that's the beauty of it does that make sense yeah then. Why do you become a Muslim? I think it's, I think it's the commitment. I think the commitment. And, and the reason I, and it's the same reason I'm not Catholic or I'm not Christian. Do you think all Muslims are committed to Islam? No, but I think there's no point in doing it if you're not going to do it. You do, you do. God told us, yeah, we as a human being, we are not perfect. We have shortcomings. You do what you can. You do what you can. God will blame you with things that will not blame you with things that you couldn't. So the point is, God is asking you, asking Aslan, saying to him, do what you can. Firstly, 
you can submit to God, then do this. You can embrace Islam by saying the testimony of faith to become a Muslim. That's, you could do it. The Shahada. So you could do it. Now after that, Aslan, try to learn how to pray to, according to Muslim. Try to do what you can. So it's a, it's a, it's a gradual process. We're not, you're not expecting one day to do all of that. Well, slowly, slowly, you will be there. So we'll start how to pray. Then as well, the same thing for fasting. So it's a gradual thing. We are not, you are not told, and uh, you know, just to do everything in one, in, at one, in one go. So because everyone goes his on his own base. Does that make sense? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the, the thing you showed me. Okay, does step that one. does what I told you make step, sense to you? Step one. So far, yeah, it all makes but sense. But I, I actually this is really annoying because I wanted to come here and trick you up on something and I haven't been able to. It's kind of annoying. Right. No, no. So actually, that's why I will tell you. Not, not disrespectful. I understand. God, you know, God works in a mysterious way. We can't comprehend. But you know, even though there are many people came, one one man came to the Prophet peace be upon him. He came to him. This 1400 years, he plot with someone. This person, he said, I will go and he said he told him, I'll give you money. I'll look after your wife and children. Just go kill Muhammad and finish it and finish this this problem. Finish it, and then that's it. It's done. So he went. He said, I came to. He was pretending to become a Muslim. He came to kill the Prophet peace be upon him. He came, and then the Prophet peace be upon him. He said, Let him in without even searching him. Let him in. He came with a knife in his pocket. He said to him, God has said to me or revealed to me, you and such and such on that place, you said such and such and the dagger is in your, in your pocket. Then he said, I testify there is no one worthy to worship except Allah. And you are the messenger of Allah. Now I know. Now I know is the truth. So he converted the assassin? Yes. No, God, God brought him to Islam. So the point is doing this, the same concept to you, Aslam. So if you believe there is one God, you believe Muhammad peace be upon him is a prophet and messenger of God. That's it. That's all. That's what makes you a Muslim. Right there, right? Yeah, you are there. Why don't you? Why don't you just say the shahada? And that's you go with a bitter feeling than the feeling that you came. I, don't know. I, just, I, I, I just want to make sure that if I'm going to say it, I mean it. You mean it? Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if I mean it. That's why I don't say it. I know. I know when you said you mean it. So that's why I it say is. Things like this. Yeah, I know. That's why I haven't said that's it. That's why. That's why I believe now you are there. And I know if you said you will mean it. I know this. So then just say it. And, and, and say it because it comes from your heart. Say it. And actually, you know what? As soon as you say it, you will feel, actually you will read. You'll have the whole life to read. And we'll be there to teach you. And I will be there for you to teach you, to help you. We have no problem with it. But my brother Aslan, you're already there. I'm not convincing you with things that you're already you're not aware of. You're already there. Just only say it as it is. Here's another thing. So simple, so simple, one second. Brother. So simple and so straightforward to testify, which is the truth. No one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Allah means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of Allah. And that's it. In that case, then you'll be official Muslim. And you'll be a member of two billion Muslims on earth. All of them that are your brothers and sisters Islam. All of them. You know what is the purpose of your life. You know, oh no, you know the puzzle? You see, there's one piece. That piece makes everything make sense to you. And that that's the key thing. You becoming a Muslim. Do you understand? The missing piece. Yes. So, my brother Aslan, don't delay the good things. The good things. Oh, the opportunity. Okay, think about it. Really you already thought. Uh, you already there. There's more to think about. The, What's the question that you have? Well, no, the the no, question no, 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 my friend Aslan, listen to me. Because he asked you one question, yeah. can I ask him the question? Yeah, can you please no, repeat no, that? No, he's covered that and we're, we're now on yeah. late yeah. stuff. Yeah, so my, my friend Aslan, listen to me. You root our Muslims, yeah? Even the early Turks, the early Turks. You think those people, they used to have their own system. They were men, powerful men, etc. Why do you think someone who's a powerful man, a leader, etc. And then he will put his nose on the dust, as they used to say. They will put his face on the dust every five times a day. Why? What made them to do that? What made them to change? Yeah. What made them to change? Yeah, someone told him to do it. No. 
the truth made them to change. Yeah? So those people at the early stage, at the early, for example, your ancestors, if it goes back to the original Turkic tribes, yeah? What made them to become Muslim? Yeah? And even the Mughals, even when they fought Muslims, they fought Muslims, they done all of these destructions. And then majority of them actually accepted Islam. What made them to do that? Yeah, the guidance and the truth. So that's why the guidance already there in your heart. You know there, you know, I'm not, I'm not convincing you of something that you don't know. Yeah. I'm saying to you something that you already know, you're already aware, you're already ready to do it. Yeah, so that's why just say it and relieve yourself from that. Say the testimony, the shahada. And then at least you know where you belong, you know where you stand, and we're going to be there to teach you, we're going to be there to help you. We have as well salah courses, we're going to teach you how to pray. We're there for you. We're not, we'll be not left behind, we're not, we'll be there for you. And as well, you are a member of this great family, Muslims. And that's what the meaning of Islam, submitting to God, that's all. Which you already agree. Does that make sense? Probably could take things step by step, step by step. SubhanAllah, I'll tell you as a layman, right? I don't know much, I'm not half, as, not even a quarter as well as the shaykh. No. But you see what Islam gives you? It gives you a purpose and a meaning to why you're here. We're not just going in this world and just freestyling. We have a purpose and a way of doing things. From, from entering your house to eating your food to your relationships with your family to relationships with your brother to the people outside. Salam wa We have a way to do it and it's the perfect way to do it. Islam gives you that peace of knowing mm -hmm. how to be. We're not freestyling. You know? I have all that anyway. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Nice relationships. I treat people with respect. That's good. I don't need That's good. To That's good. Be directed or led along that path. You see here. Sometimes even common sense is not common yeah, uh, amongst and, and ever. because even in the past. You should speak to the uh, the centurion. Yeah, we we try, we try. Like so that's right. why, unfortunately, nowadays common sense is not common anymore. Yeah. So people they have, unfortunately, this you know yeah. everyone they have their own thing. So that's why Islam made kind of a structured way. Even when the people go away, then there is a system. Yeah, there is always a system brings back to the people to the common sense to the right way. Yeah. That's why when you say, why Islam go into these details? This is something common. Why Islam talking about the man has to be responsible for his wife, to look after his wife? Because we live in a time about talking about, for example, you know, actually the man doesn't have to provide for his wife and she doesn't have to be, you know, obedient to him. She doesn't. So each one, they do their own things, their own thing. So that we live in a time. 1400 years ago, Islam made system for that. So there is a system. So there is a structure. Islam talked about as well being good to the mother. Say, what is the common sense? Everyone is good to the mother. We are living in a time that that people killing their own mothers. Yeah, we live in a time people are rude and and be evil towards their mother. We live in this time, so Islam made these structures already there. Do you understand? So that's why I'm not convincing you of something that you don't know. I'm I'm saying I'm bringing you the things which you already there. Do you understand? Does that make sense? Now, are you ready to say the shahad? I'm not going to do it here now. No. What do you want to do? Do you want to go behind I'm the camera? Not, I'm not going to do it today. I, I want, I, because like I said, if I'm going to say yeah, yeah. the same thing okay. that you all said, that you will believe... It's inside you, inside you. It may be uh, slowly inside you. coming out though. Yeah, it's inside, inside you. Still inside down, you. Does it make sense to you not I to mean, do it today? I, I really or to do some other discipline and everything yeah, that, you know, the brothers and sisters of Islam like do and go through every day, yeah. like mosque and, and Ramadan and everything like that. I'm, I don't know if... if if I can do that discipline, it's because a journey. I'm it's not a journey. that it's a journey. person. It's a journey. It's, it's a okay. Who to, I'm, 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 I'm well, very chaotic journey, person. This is step one. By the way, I live in a chaotic. I am in a chaotic. Shahada is a step. Is a step. Is that's, a step. That's the commitment, though. No. No. That you, is the salvation. Someone you want to be your wife. That's the salvation. Let's get married. You say let's go for a coffee. That's a salvation. That's a shahada. Is the salvation. So at least you know where you stand. And then gradually, you will be learning the Salah, you will be learning. And even, as I mentioned to you, if you believe in God, if you believe in Muhammad Peace, to be a prophet of God, that's it, that's, that's the first step. And then after that, everything on your base. I don't want to say here and then 20 minutes go smoke this, a cigarette. This, this brother here, and, uh, this brother here took a shahada. Too. Who told you Muslim? Oh, really? This brother here took from Sheikh, from Sheikh. Oh wow. This brother yeah. here, and he's and not, 
the next day, it's not like I was super, super strict Muslim. Like, it's baby steps. Every, baby every day I get a little closer to my deal. And don't, don't let that scare you away that we have to take your shahada now. Everything and changes. Today you have to be this devout, amazing, perfect Muslim. It's impossible. But I think, I think you should though. Yeah, but I think quite, when you say listen, it, listen, listen. that's when you go, listen, listen I will do I'm saying it, I'm committing, I'm going to knock the weed on the head, no more lagers down the pub, no more loose women, none of that, and I'm going to say the shahada. Can I that's, say to you something? If I ever say it, that's how I want to say it. Can I say to you something? Yeah, please, yeah. When God has created us, yeah? yeah? He created us in a way that we are, we commit sins, we make mistakes, we have shortcomings. I, I, I am one of, I know. All of us, we not just you, Muslim not just all of us. Yeah. All yeah. of us, we are like this. All of us. There is no one infallible except the Prophet and Messenger of God. All of us, we are sinners, we make mistakes, we have our shortcomings. That's the key thing. The beauty of it is us in the evening when we go, when we go and sit and pray and raise our hand and say, God, forgive me. I wronged myself. That is the, this is the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. You see, the beauty of it is the repentance. Even the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, if you don't make sins, then God will bring other people who make sins and they repent to God. And God will accept their repentance and they will be better in the sight of God than you. Meaning, that's how we are. We are sinners. We have shortcomings. We have, we have our own issues. We have, we have sins. But the key thing is us, the salvation, submitting to God and turning to God. Even if we have shortcomings, we turn to God and we say, God, oh, forgive me. I've done this. That's, these things happen. So that's why we are saying to you, these things happen. We are not, we're, not, we're not talking to a robot, we're talking about to a human being, which he has his own emotions, has his own flaws, has his own, uh, you could say, shortcoming. That's how it is. And each one, each one of us has his own unique weakness. That happens. But the key thing, we strengthen our weakness by believing in one God, by asking God. That's the thing which we feel, at least, you know, yeah, oh God, he's, you're there, you will forgive me. That's why one of the names of God is Al-Ghafoor. Al-Ghafoor means the forgiving one. So if he, if everyone doesn't sin and doesn't seek forgiveness, what's the, what's the point of having the name of the forgiving one? Do you understand? So that's why it's one of his names, yeah, is to forgive. That's why that, the forgiveness is when you turn to him, ask him forgiveness and he will grant you forgiveness. That's how it is. And as will gradually, it's a, as I mentioned, it's a gradual process. Well, no, you are not expected the same day to be devoted Muslim. Not God didn't this. make us to be perfect yeah? in the first place. But we expect at least the first step, which is the salvation, which is the shahada. That's the first step. And then after that, is on your base. Whatever you think, and you, you, you want it to be gradually changing over a period of time, that's totally on your base. No one, and we are there to help you. And that's how it is. That's our duty as your brothers in Islam, is to help you and to educate you and to teach you and we'll be there for you. You understand? Does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, everything's made sense. Okay. Then? Uh, everything's made sense. I'm Hang on, good. Still That's why. I don't know if, it's, if, it, if, if, if I'm a Muslim though. It is. It is the right decision. You inside is the right decision. Just take it. I'm not, not going to take it. I, I, I just feel dishonest taking it now. Okay. Then I will say to you, I will suggest you go back. Yeah. No, we'll, no, we'll, get, we'll get we'll get we'll get your contact, inshallah, if you want, and yeah, if you have no, any if you have questions or something like that. As well, I will I will I will give you a hint. You know, this Wednesday, at, you know, are, do you live in London? Yeah, Finchley Park. Okay, yeah. good. Can you come this Wednesday to Regent's Park Mosque? Okay. Yeah, we run a salah course. So meanwhile, you will do what I what I told you to do. Come on this Wednesday. We're gonna teach you how we pray. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you if you uh, if you took shahada or not, but at least on that day. So we'll, we'll you, you still allowed in the mosque? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, that's absolutely fine. At the same time, I wanted you to read. I wanted you to understand. I wanted you to be focused. And when you go home today, I wanted to make up your mind within these two days. Even if you didn't make up your mind, you still come, and at least you learn the the salah, how we pray, how we the 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 five day prayer. Does that sound good? I'll yeah. See you so tonight Let you go home. Uh, you go home. Read, take a shower. shower. Read this. God will uh, guide me, help me, make it easy for me. That's how God is all hearing, all powerful, and all knowing will know what you say. And God will help you, inshallah. But on Wednesday, inshallah, we are expecting you to come to Regent's Park Regis Mosque. Park. Uh, yeah, you know what is the Central London Mosque. Yeah, just come, and then we have, uh, yeah, just. I'm working till. 
It's 6 30, 6 30 oh, okay. in the evening. So it's after work. Yeah? So it's around 6 30. Come there and then we'll teach you how to how we pray as Muslim. And then at that time we'll discuss before if you come a bit early, like around six o'clock, and then we'll see where you are at in your faith, etc. Where's your gym? Yeah? Maybe. But don't skip. Okay. No, 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 All right. All right. All right. Lovely talking to you, Lovely. my brother. Thank you very May much. Allah guide you to the right path and help you and make it easy for you. And I will take you, your number, yeah, inshallah, nice. and then you take my number, inshallah. Sure. All right. Allah is okay. No, no worries. It's okay. My brother, we are here to help. It's fine. Uh, Allah told us in the Quran. What's your number? Maybe it's easier. 